The New Beginnings Transit Home for Children is the latest organization to receive some relief in light of the challenges presented by COVID-19. As part of its activities for Financial Information Month, the Bankers Association of St. Lucia has been journeying across the island to provide various homes with essential food items. For many years, financial institutions across the island have been working together with the ECCB to observe Financial Information Month as well as to promote financial literacy and empowerment. This year, members of the association have taken the time to visit various homes for the children and elderly across the island with donations of food and grocery items. The latest visit took place at the New Beginnings Transit Home in the north of the island. Aside from just financing and being a financial partner, we want to let the public know that we have a caring side because we are all impacted. We have families as bankers that are impacted. We have staff that are also impacted by COVID-19. And so we are all in it together. And so we just wanted to share some love and share some much needed items and recognize a need and to provide for it. This donation marks the third for the month of October thus far. Manager of the home, Avis Charles Inglis, says she's delighted to see that the global pandemic hasn't affected the generosity of corporate St. Lucia. On behalf of the, the Ministry of Equity, um, the Division of Human Services, and the children and staff of the Chances Home, we would like to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts to the Banking Association for your generous contribution. It will go a long way in meeting the needs of our clients, not only those we have in-house, but those we also do follow-up work with. When they leave us, it will go a very long way in meeting their needs in light of the challenges that COVID-19 has all placed on us. In addition to the donations, the Bankers Association has also been active in hosting other activities to promote Financial Information Month, including a live panel discussion on NCN on the topic, Living Through Rainy Days. We have um, the Morning Brew as well on NTN where we give out information in terms of the various activities. We have our signature project coming up where we want to provide island-wide, schools island-wide um, laptops because as you know, schooling now has moved to the new normal which is online and we have a lot of students, underprivileged students who are not able, you know, their families or their parents are not able to provide. We also have an essay competition coming up throughout the schools as well, dealing with our theme. The New Beginnings Transit Home is a temporary residential place of safety for children between the ages of 2 to 16 years who are victims of child abuse and severe neglect and who are in need of care and protection. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.